Okay, this building, I don't know if anybody recognizes it, but I shall go out and around. It's got a new, looks like air conditioning unit. Well, I think most people would recognize this building. Hey, that's right, it's the uh, Space Science Center. Very smart uh, crow there. And uh, we're sort of in the northwest corner, I guess you'd call it. I'm sorry, northeast corner of their lot. And I'm looking down here now and I see Sagittarius. I didn't even realize that. The um, grounds out here are uh, covered in mosaic of the uh, astrological signs. Oh, it's a lion. Leo the lion. Because I am at the old Edmonton Planetarium, which before there was the uh, Space Science Center, this was the way to see the stars and it's looking a little bit needs a little bit of work up there <laughs> some of the tiles are coming off stairs are a little bit chipped it's the queen elizabeth planetarium it was built on september 22nd 1960. so not super old for most places but old for Edmonton because in Edmonton when anything is it's like Logan's run for for buildings they reach a certain age and we just tear them down or at least we allow them to be torn down I don't tear them down <coughs> here's some more of the uh, mosaics of the of the uh, astrological signs and if you didn't know what they were they even tell you Cancer, Libra, and over here we have Aries, the Ram, these are very cool pieces of work in and of themselves actually. We put a fence around it, which is probably a very wise thing to do, because people like to break things. There's me in the window. Susan, follow me on Instagram. <laughs> somebody, somebody wrote something on there about Susan. So, I've been here when it was open. When I was a little kid, and I honestly can't remember how old. I just remember thinking this was a big building. <laughs> so it must have been a while ago. Because it's really, I'm looking at it now, you know, I'm going, I thought it was a lot bigger than this. There's the dome up top. But I do remember the wooden seats. It had wooden benches. Or, sorry, seats. Like, uh, probably like an old school theater. And, uh, yeah, I remember that going in there. And, of course, they would shoot the lights, you know, up into the dome and... They would, you know, make the stars the same way they do now over there, except on a much smaller scale. This, this air conditioning unit seems disproportionately brand new. And it's definitely hooked up to this building. So that makes me wonder, if maybe they do use it for something. It seems a lot newer than it needs to be. <coughs> the old school railings. This is the backside, of course. Looking very much like a spaceship, uh, especially from the 60s, I guess. I think we can't really see in. Here's a diagram on the wall. That's about it. Anyway, very cool. Very, uh, very neat old building. I'm glad to see, still see it still here because usually they are, like I said, Edmonton likes to tear things down. So I hope it stays. 
And maybe we'll see if we can get permission at some point to go and take a look inside because I'm sure that would be very neat too.